This is Abe Freetanzer, The Independent, and I'm here with uh, Trent Krim, uh, sorry, James Lance from uh, Awards <laughs> Radar. I think I got some of that mixed up. But anyway, this is Abe, and I'm so thrilled to be speaking with James Lance uh, about playing Trent Krim uh, on Ted Lasso. How are you, James? I'm very well, thank you. It's nice to be here. Hi. So do you have a journalistic background yourself? I do not, is the short answer. <laughs> How does it feel to be able to to play this? And is there any sort of mirror to, for instance, people like me interviewing you and you being on the other side of it? Um, is there is there any what did you say mirror? Yeah. Does it does is there do have you you know your performance has it been impacted at all by the chance to engage with other journalists as part of the show? Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I think it probably does, actually, or it has done um, over the years we've been doing this now. Yeah, I would say it it, it, it has. And also, um, there's a kind of, um, there's a curiosity you have as an actor. You're constantly asking questions, you know, who is this guy? So you you kind of go through this journalistic process internally um, to work out, who, who this is so you, you you interview yourself as it were or and then um and then speak to other uh journalists and and, and do a whole load of research so there's a crossover there between actors and and journalists i think which is um you know a comfortable uh, slipper to put on james and trent are the two of you similar uh, sorry i missed the beginning, missed of that. the beginning of that between James and Trent, you and your character, do you feel like there's a, a crossover, just personality-wise and the way you are? Gosh, I, that's a question I've never asked myself. Um, not really. Uh, I wouldn't say so, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, other than us looking very similar, um, but with a whole different set of circumstances going on with with Trent and with me and, uh, and, and and choices. So no, I probably say quite different. I'm um, I'm probably a bit more of a uh, and a, a bit more of a goofball than 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 the Trent we see. Yeah, he is pretty serious, but it's been nice to see him sort of come out of his shell. Uh, a bit over the course of the show, especially uh, when we're talking right now, his most recent uh, interaction with the Diamond Dogs, that was a pretty entertaining moment. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Have you enjoyed the, uh, you know, pivoting from him as a journalist to someone who's, you know, sort of embedded and, you know, writing something more in depth with the team? I have absolutely loved this this journey that he goes on. You know, um, I I knew really early on with Trent that he was uh, he felt that he was an outsider, and you know that whole moniker of Trent Independent and or the Independent, it, it, you know that was a that was a kind of um, a persona that he had very much adopted and become, and um, he was never. I always thought he was never kind of picked up for the school team, or he was certainly last. And um, and there was probably bullying going on in the locker room. He just wasn't a kind of a, a sporty, athletic uh, a, a guy. Um, so you miss that kind of team uh, camaraderie and connection, you know, when you're when you're on the outside like that. I also saw him as he was in the library um, on his own. And but. That doesn't mean that he didn't want to be. I really, you know, I think we all want connection. And I really felt that um, Trent really wanted to be part of a team, like big time. And so when that, when that it actually happens for him, when um, uh, he gets invited in or, or he asks to be invited in um, and it happens so easily, I don't think he's quite prepared uh, to be right in the inner sanctum of this team um in the way that he is yeah um so it, it's it ends up being um quite a thrill for him you know i don't i think he's very used to the idea of being shunned when he first walks into a into a locker room he's used to that that's that's an old uh feeling for him but he's quite hardy and uh he knows he's gonna he's gonna survive but i don't think he's prepared for the genuine sense of camaraderie that seems to be occurring for him yeah it's um I, that that's that's I'm really enjoying that particular part of it for him, you know, because uh, he's kind of got nothing to push against. It's like he's he's being accepted.
Well, it wasn't always the case, of course, as Roy was not so fond of having him around. What was it like to shoot the, that scene with Brett where he, you know, shoves that little clipping in his face and really explains uh, everything? Well, I can tell you one thing straight away is that I knew that obviously I'd read the scene and um, uh, I knew that there's going to be this bit where Roy just sort of shouts, Kroom! you know, and and I I wasn't prepared for how frightening that was. It, it, uh, and and um and genuinely what you see when I jump I genuinely that's a that's a genuine jump um and it was quite intimidating to be literally literally put in the corner by uh Roy Ken and he, he kind of looks at me really severely and the aperture of his eyes zones in and he's he's intimidating you don't see lovely Brett Goldstein when Roy Kent is uh, in your face um so I just had to listen, really, <laughs> and, and react accordingly. Well, we've fortunately seen a much warmer relationship built with Colin, which I think was somewhat unexpected. How long have you known about that development? And is that something that you sort of worked in subtly to your performance over the course of the past year or longer? Well, actually, that idea that Trent... Um, uh, isn't living the life that he personally wants to live and, and that... Um, uh, was was sort of came out of the conversation that I had with Jason in, in the, right at the beginning of season one, um, and out of that, you know, it opened up the Trent could be gay, and that was really, 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 really exciting um, because, you know, it's as you as we know, it's this, it's a serious issue um, in terms of uh, you know homosexuality not being a, a openly accepted in the world of sport in this instance and any any anything that we can you know do to open that up is just such a um, it's just got such a wonderful energy to it you know that we can actually um uh tackle that somebody at my door i'm so sorry i'm i'm just on a business call whoever that is okay brother thanks that's that's Jeremy Swift leaving uh, an an album that I left with him last night. We went to um, the Hollywood Bowl last night to see w Willie Nelson, and I got some vinyl. Um, thanks, man. If he's still there, uh, where was I? I've totally forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Talking about the joy of being able to, you know, discover uh, Trent's identity. Yeah, that was yeah, really that was really, that was really um, uh, exciting, and just being able to. Uh, be the guy that can create a safe space for this um, young footballer who's, you know, really going through it was, uh, you know, it, it, what, what, what I love about it is that, is that Trent Krim, who we first meet, or the persona we first meet, he's like the last person you would imagine that would be able to kind of have that kind of empathy um for young Colin and I love that I love that element you know sometimes the clothes do not make the man you know and and Trent there's like every character like every human being there's many facets um to them and so to be able to kind of pull those layers off and create this nice safe harbor for for Colin at the time when he most needs it is it is beautiful yeah have you uh, heard any fan reactions to this news about Trent and that episode in general? Uh, yeah, I get sent all kinds of um, uh, social media things because I'm personally not on social media. Um, uh, and it's everything I've seen has been really positive. Yeah, really, really. Um, people, are, people are buzzing about it, you know? Yeah, it's it's been cool. Has that not always been the case? People have not typically been fond of Trent in the past? um oh, well i've had people say to me i mean in the, the street early on they're like oh i hate you you're horrible and i go oh me and they go no the, the, the character and i go oh yeah well we'll see because <laughs> you know i knew there was more to trend than uh, what first meets the eye had a chance over the course of three seasons to interact with a number of the players, but I'm sure that there are members of the cast and characters you would have loved to spend more time with. Is there anyone in particular that you would have liked to see more overlap with Trent? Oh, wow. Um, uh, well, I can tell you that there's something just inherently funny uh, being in close proximity to Roy Kent as Trent Krim. 
it's just funny. Um, I used to, I, you didn't, you know, that moment when um, they asked what, what's your favorite Julie, Julie Andrews movie. Um, and uh, I say the, my character that I love. And then Roy Kent quickly goes, fuck yeah, princess diaries. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could watch a conversation between Trent and Roy all night long. Honestly, I, I, they used to crack me up every single time. They're just, they're just coming at, they're like oil and water. So I enjoyed that. But um, I also adored watching uh, Christo um, uh, as Danny Roch has, uh, particularly with his uh, infatuation with Zava. And um, I, <laughs> I, I don't know who was laughing at that more, you know, me or Trent, I think both of us would have found found that really funny. Um, it was just sweet, yeah. I, but I, I, I'd do more with any of them. They're they're all they're all brilliant. I mean, Sahib. I mean, everybody. They're all they're really amazing actors. I know that the show is planned to come to a close, but I assume that there will be enthusiasm for something more, even if that won't necessarily happen. Do you feel like there's more you'd like to do with Trent if there was the opportunity? I mean, I'd, I'd, if I was invited to do more trend at Krim, I'd be delighted. Yeah, of course. It's um, this has been a this has been a, a magical experience these three seasons, and also, you know, we don't know. It, it hasn't. I mean, as far as I know, there's not an official uh, end to this. I mean, we haven't even finished season three yet, and see how, see how people feel when we get to the end. You know, because there is there is a sort of a natural end to this particular part of the tale, but. It could certainly, I mean, I could see all kinds of ideas uh, moving forward, which if they ask me, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm available. That's good to hear. Do you have anything else coming up? I hope so, my friend. <laughs> I hope so. I'm actually waiting on a really nice uh, job at the moment. I had a recall for something. Um, but, you know, I've been doing this a long time. I've been acting for 38 years professionally, and I'm used to not knowing what I'm doing. Um, some the right thing will drop in. And for any Trent enthusiasts who would like to see more of James, is there a role of yours from the past that you would recommend checking out if people uh, aren't familiar with your other work? Wow, gosh, um, I loved playing uh, the art teacher uh, opposite Tom Hardy and Bronson. That was a really cool role. Another one I loved was um, playing Ray Henderson, the DJ in Northern Soul, which is a super cool movie by an amazingly talented director, Lane Constantine. I love that. That was a really cool experience. Um, I, I enjoyed Marie Antoinette. That was great as uh, Marie Antoinette's hairdresser. That was a lot of fun with Sofia Coppola. Um, yeah, I've done some, I've done some nice things. Um, did a series called The Book Group years ago on Channel Four, which I loved. I played, tw I got the chance to play twins, which was which was cool. Yeah, it was a nice double double bite of the of the pie. Wonderful. Well, I wish you luck with this upcoming role and everything else in the future. Thank you for taking a few minutes to speak with me today. Oh, thanks a lot. Appreciate it.